All right, everybody, what is going on today? <clears throat> I think this is our 60th episode of Feast with the Beast. We haven't done a breakfast on here in a while. So I was sitting down the other day and I was thinking, man, I'd really want to do it. There's a bunch of things that I want to do in Feast with the Beast that's a breakfast. Um, so then I was like, okay, which one do I want to do? So I actually decided to do, it's one that you do in a skillet. You have um, shredded potatoes, um, eggs. Basically, it's like an omelet on top of the potatoes in a skillet, all done in the smoker. Uh, we're pre-doing our bacon and our sausage because it's not going to cook. You know, you have to pre-cook that, just like you're doing an omelet, right? We're going to have to saute um, some onions and peppers. And and uh, uh, Pat's calling me. So um, we'll get that rocking. I uh, actually... I uh, forgot to bring out one of the pans I need. So, let's see what I got going on here. Bacon only take a minute to cook. All right. All right, I do need to grab a saute pan. Who we got on here? We got Mike, Pat, Rick, Jim, Casey. Hold on, my thing's not scrolling. There it is. All right, Phil, Todd, Stephen, Chris, uh, Brian, Dwight, Jason Willigen, Kip, Wade, Skip, Mike C. We got a good bit of people on here. 58 people. Look, if we can share this feed. All right, so if we can share the feed, that'd be great. I'm gonna get this bacon off of here. It's, it's looking pretty good. Let me make some room. All right. So I'm gonna do my sausage in here too. watch parties going on all right let me take some of this bacon out before it burns then I can talk for a minute huh uh, it's when you go to share it it has an option to do watch parties so you can do both share and watch parties all right Pat's doing a watch party Bacon just needs another minute and then I can uh, talk about a couple other things and get this thing going. Yes, I dropped that on the floor. But that bacon, I will still eat it. You know, the 10 second rule, the five second rule is a real thing. It takes a certain amount of seconds for uh, bacteria to get on your food. As long as you don't have dot. As long as you don't, right, as long as you don't have dog hair in it on your patio, you're good. And I don't have any dog hair on my patio. Alright, I'm going to get started. Take this piece 
this out. Alright, Pat says he can't do a watch party. Oh, I see. Alright, that has just like another minute. <clears throat> so, how do we do this? No, man, these are, uh, these are my, these are my church jeans. These are my church jeans. They're, my, they're holy. They're my holy jeans. So I actually, I, I actually like wearing it. I wear my jeans till they cannot be worn in again. Like I do. I get my money's worth. Like literally, I mean, I've done this my entire life. I'll buy a pair of jeans. Or I'll buy like three pairs at a time and I'll wear them till they're like, they look like this. Now I always got one pair I can wear out and, you know, and not embarrass people I'm with. But I'm home. And I know it's kind of redneck, but it's because I'm kind of a redneck. So it's just the way it is. I do uh, <laughs> I do duct tape patches and everything. So what else we got? Barrel houses. Actually, I got the barrel house sitting over here, uh, Dan. I just had to move it out of the way. I'm about to put it back in place. Um, all right, hold on. This is almost done. Okay. All right, so this is what we got to do. We got a bowl. We have uh, about 20 ounces of uh, um, shredded up potatoes. I got the, look, I didn't shred these up myself. Well, right, it did a really good job for me, so I just used theirs, right? And so you want them to where they're not frozen. So you got to let them out, stay out and like, so they can be chilled, not frozen. Turn this off. You dump that in the container, right? You put a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Put one egg, one egg. <clears throat> so we got 124 people on. Nice, dude. If you got, I could, I could use a flat top, but I'm not. I just didn't. That's that's kind of like spread out. I don't really drink really. Every now and then I drink a Bloody Mary, but I'm uh, past drinking my Bloody Mary for me. All right. So then you, you break the egg up and you mix all this stuff up. Oh wait, I forgot. About a tablespoon of olive oil. That's something like that. All right, get all this mixed in. Now, how many on here saw uh, Chef Nino last week? Now that dude is a hard act to follow. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> so, <coughs> all right, so <coughs> you get this. <coughs> all right, so look, you get the potatoes. See, it's got just got enough egg on it just to kind of coat everything, salt and pepper, and the oil just kind of got that mixed around. You know, where you can kind of almost make a patty, right? But not, not quite. You don't want to make potato patties. All right, now... Now, I did warm this up just a little bit so it's not ice cold going into the smoker. I need to crank that thing up. Um, so then you just... And actually, his spice was really good. I mean, if anybody ordered his spice, they're going to love it, man. They really will. It's not high in salt, which is... Pretty much goes with all the spices we use. So then you just 
So look, now I kind of bring it up around the edges a little bit, right? Because you don't need it really thick. I could have used even more potatoes. I'm, not, I'm so tempted to get more. Because this is a big skillet. So, so do we put just like a little bit of parsley on top of this. And this is going to go in the smoker for about 10-15 minutes. And that'll get that'll get it going. Now probably gonna take more like 15 because I didn't have enough for temperature. Um <clears throat> okay, so now we get to uh, saute onions, some bell peppers, Here's my lighter, some onions, bell peppers, and uh, some good stuff like that. I don't know if everybody, can everybody see you okay? All right, so we're doing breakfast. For those of you that don't know, we're doing breakfast on the grill uh, or on the smoker. We're doing um, shredded up potatoes and basically putting together an omelet and putting right on top of that and putting it right in the smoker. That's pretty much the simplest way to, uh, to say what we're doing. Um, so now we need, oh wait, can you go ahead and, uh, yeah, I think his name is Neil. Oh, Chef Nino, what's up? Put this here, put this here. Now, I'm not going to saute my potatoes, but I will. The onions and peppers and all that, definitely got to soften that stuff up. Now, tomatoes, like, <clears throat> some people don't like tomatoes in their, uh, in their omelets, but I do, so I got tomatoes all cut up. I got the uh, Fiesta cheese, so it's got like four different types of cheese in here. Um, we need, I need a strainer. I'm gonna grab a strainer. I just want to strain the fat out of. Has somebody got a timer on those uh, potatoes? A couple minutes ago. All right. too greasy. A little salt and pepper in that. Let's go sweat those down just a little bit. Um, This aside, <clears throat> I'm gonna have I didn't bring my milk out either. We're gonna grill up some avocados too. Anybody else cooking out there today? So I set up a couple poll questions. I don't know if they're showing up or not um, on the feed. 
Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I just saw it. Saw the option to do it. Yep, they do. <laughs> you know, your eggs aren't really white. They just make them look white. All right, so there you go. Saw it. <clears throat> Ooh, that was hot. So we got some pepper. <clears throat> I do need just like a, a teensy weensy bit of milk. like a splash some people put a whole lot of um, milk in but I don't if you haven't shared the feed yet please share the feed all right we're looking good there Take get my bacon over here. I'm gonna chop that up. I got the uh, bacon where it's uh, not crunchy, it's chewy. Cut them up too much. I want some nice chunks in there. All right, we got that. So I like my stuff to have uh, still a little bit of crunch in it. So I don't want to saute them too much. Take and I'll put them in here so it's cooled down a little bit. How long has the uh, the potatoes been in? So, um, <clears throat> we're just waiting on that. Everything is ready. So, um, what's going on, everybody? So, do we have anybody, uh, out that shovel in the CI? I don't know what you're talking about, John. I guess maybe that's a comment to somebody else. Hey, David, what happened to your jeans? Um, yeah, they just got wore a lot. That's what it is. It's the only thing I had clean this morning. Yeah, right. People pay extra money for this. So um, all you have to do is be patient and, and, uh, and they'll get like that on their own, you know, within a couple years. When the bottom leg of those jeans go, cut them off. That's right. That's what we used to do when we were kids. When the bottom legs had too many holes, you just cut them off in the jean shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't catch anybody in jean shorts anymore. Actually, you know, I don't know, man. Pat wears jean shorts, but Pat's a redneck, right? Uh, Neil, what's going on? Oh, yeah, the, the Grubby's gloves are good, Neil. They are good. All right. That's right, both of them. So, what am I missing here? All right. I am going to uh, throw a little bit of strawberries on the grill, too. Um, let me see. Yeah, these are good. So, so what I'm going to do when I, when I, when I pull that out, I just hope that's enough eggs. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the egg mixture on top of the potatoes and then drop everything in. Um, oh, you know what I didn't do? That's supposed to have cheese in it. Oh, well. That's alright. It'll be fine. Dude, uh, technically I was supposed to mix some cheese in with the potatoes, but it's no big deal. We're mixing cheese in with all the top anyway. It's going to be plenty of cheese. I don't think uh, it was really needed. We'll find out. All right. Never did it without the cheese. So anyway, Stephen Mandis, what's up? Lucas, what's going on? Ronald. Um, how many people we got on right now? 135. Look, this is going to be a pretty quick show, I think. Because once I pull this out, once I pull it out, I'm going to. All right, let me just move this. I need, let me put the bacon in this. I'm not sure what this was going to be for. I'm about to put the pan right in there. So I think what I'm going to do. Alright, so this could go for maybe a little bit more, but, but I think that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick and put like some cheese on top of this. So the next part. It's going to take about 10, 15 minutes, but the main thing is you need to make sure the egg is done. Okay? So here I got me a layer of cheese on top of the potatoes. Let me run some along the edge. <clears throat> I almost didn't even have the show today. It's Mardi Gras down here. So... It's like in full swing. So, so then you pour all this in. Yeah, I could have definitely added more eggs. This is like a lot of eggs already. So we put some more cheese in here. Put it all in there. Let me start it around just a little bit. Put some uh, some sausage in there. Put some bacon in there. Put my sauteed uh, peppers and onions and sprinkle those around. <laughs> then I'm going to take my tomatoes, put those in there. Of this is going to be after. So, whoo, that's hot. It's, the skillet's hot. All right, so mark my time. All right, 
So we're looking at a solid 15 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna set my timer. <clears throat> uh, stopwatch, no. Timer, 15 minutes. Oh, that's 15 hours. No, I'm gonna do that at the end. Yeah, it'll burn up if I do it like that. So I want everything to cook, and when I pull it out, I'm gonna sprinkle some more cheese on it. I got more in there. And, uh, all right, I just started the timer. Timer's rocking. Let me get more cheese. Which boot end did you get? Uh, who was it, Pat? Wade. Wade, which boot end did you get? Uh, was Did you get the uh, crawfish boot end or the pork boot end? Because the crawfish boot end has pork boot end in it too. So you kind of get the bo best of both worlds, but they're both good. And some people don't like seafood. It's crazy, I know. But, um, so yeah, let us know what kind of boot end you got. I got some uh, strawberries all kind of like sliced all pretty ready to go. I got the, um, it's windy here y'all. We're supposed to have storms today. After the show, I'm going to be working. So today, I have not picked up my lumberjack pellets yet. In case you didn't know, um, I'm a lumberjack dealer now, so I don't. My first uh, shipment it came into Baton Rouge last week, and um, it's a 2,000 pound. It's 2,000 pounds of pellets. So. Um, I'm, I'm going to go picking it up with a trailer. Well, it's been raining every single day, and I don't want to take a chance of these pellets getting wet, so I'm not going to get them till Monday or, or Wednesday, either one. Um, I just need to make sure it's a dry day, no chance of rain anywhere, so I can go get them, haul my ass back here and get them put away. Um, and at that point, we'll be doing lumberjack pellets from here on out. Um, but today, I'm just using the uh, uh, competition blend of uh, pit boss that's that's what I've been using which for grilling and all I, I think they're fine you know they're fine but I just uh, I'm not getting the flavor whenever I do any kind of big meat so that's the reason I'm uh, switching off to uh, lumberjack I feel like I'm forgetting something here let me put this milk away so it don't go bad I'm glad I got a uh, fridge right out here so how much time we got? What? Well, I, I set a timer. Uh, we still got 11 minutes. We still got 11 minutes. Oh, you got the pork boot in? Yeah, so um, the pork is definitely Dude, I'm, both of the boot ends are really good. I, I have never had a better boot end than either one. Um, if you like crawfish, try the crawfish too. And the crawfish actually has pork boot end in it. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, like I said. Oh. Oh, man, don't be scared. Dude, like that is, it's delicious. It is delicious. I'm actually getting ready to do a... Um, a gator loin and I'm gonna flay the gator loin out so it rolls out and then I'm gonna um, stuff it with crawfish boudin roll it back up and wrap it with bacon that's what I'm gonna do one day next week so um, I think everybody's really gonna like that so monthly contest challenge yeah so Shannon we don't have the challenge yet ready yet what's the date of the day all right the third so um, Within the next couple of days, uh, we'll come up with something and then I'll announce it middle of the week or the end of the week. How's that? 
I've just been so busy, man. I just, uh, um, you know, haven't had. I actually just slipped my mind again. You know, Chaz, you forgot the liquid smoke. <laughs> ah, funny. <laughs> hey, so uh, you know how you can make your own liquid smoke? Uh, I'm going to do a video and show you how you can create your own liquid smoke to show you guys liquid smoke is real like it's not like some chemical you can make it at home yourself you don't have to buy it and you can make it whatever flavor you want i think that'd be a cool show so maybe i should uh work on that um but yeah all right samuel so yeah it is going to be amazing when this comes out it is too, truly 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 going to be really good i'm going to throw these strawberries on the grill um right towards the end i have them kind of split just to kind of add a little color and uh, sweetness, just as a side, you know what I mean? Um, most everybody likes strawberries. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of cheese and um, scallions and uh, tomato on top when it comes out. Um, there's all different kinds of versions of this you can do. You can actually do it without the potatoes too. Um, I probably could have done a smaller skillet like this one and then it would have filled it all the way up. Ooh, it's looking good though. It's looking good. This thing up. Yeah, so Josh wants to know if we can do something on how to season cast iron pans. So, yeah, I can. Um, but <clears throat> the bottom line, like any cast iron pan that I get, I don't care what it is or what it looks like. I strip it down and redo it so the way I strip it down is I put it in my oven <clears throat> and I put my oven on clean it gets like 550 600 degrees something like that it strips everything off of that skillet it takes it down to the bare cast then you take and you scrub it get it clean stick it in the oven around 300 degrees and just let it dry really good um, and then you start uh, coating it with like flaxseed oil a really thin 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 all with a high smoke point a lot of people say bacon grease and all that bacon grease doesn't have a high smoke point it's not good to season your bear cast with bacon grease you can use Crisco like I use Crisco Crisco um, you can do just very light um, coatings and when you do the inside you coat the inside and you flip it upside down and after like an hour you take it out and you wipe it because it's gonna have like little runs and you want to wipe it clean and do it again and again and again if you have a skillet that is um, kind of splotchy on the seasoning to, like this skillet right here was like that at one time um, now you can't see it right now because because I cooked in it but uh, it was very splotchy and it wasn't the way it's supposed to be so I stripped it down and right away it just it got like glass like i just seasoned it really good for uh like a whole day just kept hitting it with uh, crisco and letting it just keep baking and baking and baking when it was done uh, it was like glass and it's the best skillet i have i'm actually thinking i'm going to restrip my other ones just to see if i can make that happen again so anyway um uh we should be getting close on our time should be getting close this is going to be really good. I, I could have mixed up more eggs, but I mean, I already had like nine eggs. I mean, that's like a lot of food. So if I don't eat it all, the kids are off this weekend um, with their friends and Mardi Gras and all that kind of stuff. So I'm here by myself today. <clears throat> um, let me see. Where's my timer at? Oh man, um, it's really kind of hard to explain boudin. Um, you know what? You know, you know who would be really good at explaining uh, boudin? Uh, Nino, if you're on here, uh, Rick, Rick knows how to explain it. Yeah, and uh, but it doesn't really, it doesn't taste like sausage. Is the thing like? It tastes like boudin. It has a certain seasoning that you're using with the mix and um, other ingredients that makes other boudin way better than than some. And like our boudin 
and I'm not just saying it, like we don't personally make it. Jameson makes it. Uh, and he's won the Boudin Championships two years in a row in, excuse me, in Lafayette. And that's the Boudin capital of the world. So if anybody knows Boudin, it's Lafayette. Right? All right, good. Neil, Rick said it perfectly. All right, good. Thanks a lot. Um, we're still waiting. Um, I think what I could do for a real quick... Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, man. The, the pit boss is is, uh, is good stuff. It is good stuff. Uh, dude, if you don't have the beast tongs, the beast shovel, or any of our beastly tools, growbeast.com. That's where you can get them. Look, I'm gonna throw these strawberries on here just for a minute, just for a minute, just to kind of heat them up and it gets some juices flowing, right? And then, that. and then I'm also going to take and put these uh, avocados on here. Hopefully I don't mess those up because I should, probably should have kept those in the shell. But that's all right. That's going to take and uh, make those taste even better. We got, got enough cheese to top our... Uh, our dish off we have I need I thought I had another pair of gloves out here I do I do all right anyway why what would you hold on somebody said something about a you don't use metal spatulas on cast iron who said that? John, what, what do you use? I've been using metal spatulas my entire life. I'm telling you, man, I've never had a problem with my cast iron. My cast iron is like glass. It doesn't get scraped up and all that. My, um, in, in my opinion, it actually helps the cast iron. It helps smooth it out, you know? Um, and if you have any uneven edges, because you know how it does that? Sometimes the season is not even. That, 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 that the spatula helped smooth that out. <clears throat> so anyway, it's just maybe you're, hey, you got a different opinion on it than I do. Um, I use, I've been using metal spatulas on all my casts since I was too young to use the spatula. <laughs> my, my father used them. <laughs> right, right. Based on one cook, one way, the boot in. Oh yeah, so Wade, right. Wade said the boot in was amazing. Uh, everybody come to my house. Love the grill beast tools. Oh, yeah, man. Um, oh, yeah, okay. I see what you're saying, John. So, er John says everybody goes over to his house, loves the boon and the grill beast tools. So, thank you for that. got to make sure the egg is done and you just don't want to dry it out <clears throat> uh, we are close how many people we got on here Pat 111 all right so um yeah I know when there's no action there's no uh, people don't stay on which is fine let me see what we're looking like one time so I can see about what we're looking what I got to fill in time with well, according to this, we've got a minute and a half. I say according to looking at that, we got more than that. So, but we'll let that timer go and um, we'll just reset it. What some people do when they're doing this, if they do it without the potatoes, they'll take and do it on the stove for a lot of it and then stick it in the oven. Um, and that's called like an eggs frittata. So this is just a little bit different than eggs frittata. Um, let me see, Joseph Cocker, thinking of a pair of grill gloves. Gonna try, yeah, Joseph, I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed in the grill gloves, man. Called Beast Armor. 
Um, what do we got going on over here in uh, in um, Instagram? So, Oz Weedy, how you doing? Um, all right, we're getting close. So, uh, Fred says he uses fried taters. Uh, Joseph, thinking of a, yeah, we already talked about. Why I use metal utensils on mine, it gets the nubs smoothed out. That's right. That Rick has a good point. When you're using a metal spatula, it helps smooth those nubs out a little bit quicker. Right? So, my alarm's going off. So, let's stop that. I'm going to peek at it. i got to get... But I need to slice this up. So if you ever never done uh, grilled avocado, you need to try that too. Hold on, I'm missing something here. I need another <clears throat> another plate. Had to get that out the way. Because I'm about to take this. Uh... So the other thing, when you pull this thing out, it's going to need time to rest. Because those juices are going to be all over the place, hot and wild. And you need those to settle down and soak in. Um, the Grubby's Banners, it depends on what size you get. Uh, I want to say, I know they're right around 25 bucks. I can't remember the exact price, man. Can't remember the exact price. Just go to Grubby's.com and... Uh, Click, click on products, scroll all the way down, and you'll see the banners. Um, and there's two sizes. There's two by three, and there's three by five. Uh, no, thanks, Wade. I appreciate that. I lost Pat, so he had to call me back. Being great. So, uh, that's right. Customer service. And almost everything has a lifetime warranty, just so you know. Um... This thing is not scrolling again. Uh, bars. Hi, Beast. Oh, uh, Paul is from Hart, Hartlepool, England. Nice. What else we got? All right, Mark Cuban. I'm Corbin. Cuban. I always want to call you Cuban, man. Uh, good morning. All right. So, Rock and Ryan. Um,. It could be the boot in uh, redneck cook off. Everybody claims theirs is the, that's true. Everybody always claims theirs is the best, right? There can only be one best, but then it also goes on taste buds and all that kind of stuff, right? So what might be the best to me might not be the best to you, but I'll say this: not one, knock on wood, not one complaint on food. Like, not one. We don't really have hardly any complaints on the tools. But um, not one person has said that that, that boudin, crawfish pies, or the gator wasn't, like, out of this world. Not one person. 
So um, we're about to list some more stuff on there. Crawfish is going to be going on there soon. Um, um, we got frog legs on there. But we're about to have different sizes like jumbo and mediums. Uh, we are, oh, octopus is coming close. So if you have never had grilled octopus, wait, probably next week I'll be doing some grilled octopus and that's, we'll, we'll have grilled, uh, we'll have octopus where you can get octopus shipped right to you. Uh, that's something that not many people have. We have, we're supposed to be getting set up to do live crawfish. Uh, we can definitely do, uh, crawfish tails like are in a pack ready to go. Um, and you can do all kinds of stuff. You can do uh, crawfish salad with that. You can do crawfish at a bag. You can do seafood gumbo. Ha! He must have right. All right, so this is looking done. I'm, uh, I'm taking it out. Okay, in case you haven't noticed, like this pan is heavy. And it's big. Big. Alright, we'll turn this bad boy down. But that was like really hot and I was able to pick it up with this uh, with this glove. And even like touching the glove where this is on the outside, the glove is hot. But I didn't feel any heat on my hand. So now now it's out. So you don't want to see what it looks like here. Let me grab something that's going to help me carry this thing. So, so I don't know if you noticed, but I'm holding this for like a good while and it's hot, right? So you can see what that looks like when it comes out. And uh, we're going to come out with some little doohickeys like this, right? You're trying these out, use them with skillets. As you just see what I just did. Um, where's my cheese? There we go. So now I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on here just to kind of give it like a little bit of extra. I'm going to take and throw, throw some more tomatoes on here just on the top just to kind of do a little bit something with it. I just thought it was a good idea. But. Yeah, 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 sure. We'll, yeah, we should, we should be some live gator. on top just a couple put some more cheese now what I'm doing with the uh, the avocado and the um, I mean you could take And, and like have some avocado with this. So that way you can get a little bit of avocado with it. Um, now, me personally, this would be like on the side be like a little breakfast dessert. You know, I don't want the syrup from this getting into that, so I'm not putting that on top of there. Um, but basically, ow, that's it. That sucker is hot. Hold on. All right, how's that? All right, so I could try to get a piece out.
Rick, you don't have to eat the avocado. When you do this at your house, you don't have to put avocado on it. You know what I'm saying? Let me grab myself a little plate. Sauce on my eggs, man. I like the hot sauce, but I just don't like it. I did do that. I know I did use my knife on the cast iron, but you know what? You know, uh, it's fine. It is fine. Right, if it messes it up, I'll re-season it. All right? How's that? Is that good? Oh. All right. So how's that look? You know what I need? I need some toast. I should have made some toast. I should have got some English muffins. Yeah, this is good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See, look. Ooh, that was hot in my belly. You see how the um, the potatoes got crispy on the bottom, but they're not, but they're soft on the top. Can you hear the? Can you hear it crunch? I mean, look, look at that. Mmm. Dude, I'm telling you, look, and then look, look at that edge. Oh, so here's the thing. So it's funny. So last week, last week we had a great show, right? Nino showed up. Dude's a character, right? He's funny. He had me rolling the whole day, even before the show started and after the show ended. He left. He had stuff to do. He called me up, but like a couple hours later, he goes, "Hey, Dave, man, that was a whole lot of fun. Why don't you why, why, why don't you let me come on like once a month?" So I'm like, "Cool." Come on once a month. He's a, I'm telling you, he does, he does a great job, man. He has a ton of knowledge because he travels the world, right? He gets these ideas as he travels to these countries and he experiences their cooking culture and just like the uh, pineapple plank, right? That was like that was like genius, right? I'd never heard of that. That was great. I think that was one of the best tips that's ever been given on this show. I'm a little jealous of Nino. He's a funny he's a funny dude. Remind me of Jeff Mayer growing up. Jeff Mayer, that dude, would come over to the house and you would not stop laughing the entire time. Hmm. I'll tell you what, this is one of the best breakfasts I've had in a long time. I mean Dude, it's got the right amount of cheese for me. Um, I'm actually glad I did not mix the cheese with the potatoes. So I did the potatoes and then I did a layer of cheese on top. And I think that, I, so that mistake worked out for the better. Um, look at that. Now this has, this has sausage, it's got bacon, it's got onion in it. Mmm. How many people are on? So look, um, if you, it's not too late to share. Mm. And look, 
if you've never done strawberries on the grill before, you take and put little cuts in them and put them on the grill, it just brings out all the sugar. And it makes them so tender and soft. So you look, all the sugar in there just, they're just super sweet. So, we are crummer, we are right at an hour. Three more minutes, we'd be on an hour. Um, all right, Pat's got to go. He's in my ear. Um, I can be on here a little bit longer and um, talk and eat if you want. Let me take this earpiece out of my ear. Uh, I truly appreciate everybody coming on. I know it's a little bit different show. It was grilling, but it wasn't grilling. This is stuff you can do in your grill. You can do it in your oven. Um, it's really nice to see. I don't know if you guys uh, have seen the people posting the uh, Grill Beast Foods food that they're buying. Uh, some people post it in the group. Some people just on their page. Um, but we've had like a lot of good sales coming in. And um, um, people are loving the Gator. We haven't. We haven't had anybody get gator um, gator ribs yet, but that's okay. That's uh, something new for people, and that, that's a little adjustment for them to think about gator ribs. But um, but they're good. You're not going to get as much meat as like you do, like a beef rib and stuff like that. It's different. So, um, uh, but uh, we've had plenty of gator tail, like lots of gator tails. People have been scarfing up gator tails. Mm. I tell you what, this is the best one I've ever done. And it's so juicy. From you got all those vegetables, the onions, and the the bell peppers. It just adds that juiciness to it. Like you don't have juice running out of it. Um it just has that moistness, I guess. So anyway, I'm cutting out. I imagine there's not many people left on here. Unless, I mean, if y'all still in here want to talk, I can talk. Um, yeah, I'm going to post the recipe. I've been, I'm so behind on posting recipes. I really need to find somebody to uh, help me do that. Post, I need, we're behind on posting to uh, YouTube. And posting to the website and and the recipes themselves and all that. Um, so, um, Josh just said if you use smoke with cast iron, it messes up the cast iron. Uh, there was, I mean, it's a pellet grill, so you're going to be getting some smoke, yes. But. Um, um, like the inside of the pan had food all in it, so it. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I've cooked with my cast uh, quite a few times. I've. It's never done anything negative to it, so I'm not sure. What, what are you saying happens to the cast? Uh, Rick says there's 63 people left. Um, yeah, dude. I'm telling you, especially like if you have a bunch of people over, you can toss this thing together and literally like. It took me longer than it should because I'm talking, I'm running my mouth, and I'm explaining stuff. But really, this is, you can, from start to finish, while you're, you can be eating this thing in 30 minutes and feed a bunch of people. So, like, I just took that one sliver out, and, um, and I'm full. So, anyway, let's cut out of here, and uh, you guys have a good day. I have, like, a ton of work to do today, and um, appreciate you, Instagram and Facebook, uh, and, you know, anybody else who sees this. Uh, thanks a lot. Peace out.